took electronics in high school, wired up a stereo in my car. I think I've got this figured out. Shut up, you don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan and I've got a little unboxing for you. This is a car part unboxing and this is for, this is parts for our 1959 Ford Ranch Wagon that we're working on. Um, it's a wiring harness. That car when we got it had sat in the desert for years. I just the dry climate out in the sun, you know, I worried about the wiring getting brittle and break, you know, the insulation breaking and having short outs and things and saw some areas that had been spliced together by somebody at some point. There were some melted ignition wires under the dashboard and I thought, you know what? Let's just start over from scratch. And I looked at several different wiring harnesses online and settled on quick wire. And this is what we've got here. So we're just going to unbox this real quick. I'm not going to cut anything apart and unravel the wires or anything, but we'll just look at look at what comes in here. Um, <clears throat> this isn't specifically for a 1959, but it's made to just basically bolt in. Uh, it's, it's like the wiring schematic says car and struck installations. And I've actually, I've looked through this book a little bit already, so I'm pretty took electronics in high school, wired up a stereo in my car. I think I've got this figured out. Um, you can see there's there's just all kinds of wiring diagrams in here and stuff, and it's uh, in Mopar, and there's stuff for Ford. It's, uh, from what I've seen so far, I'm pretty happy with this. If you have even just the slightest electronic knowledge and know what some of the symbols mean, and if you don't, you can look them up online. Um, I think this is gonna be pretty easy. I paid extra for this. This is just the wire, the split loom to cover the wires once you run them everywhere. And this looks like a bag of connectors and zip ties and a maxi fuse, grommet to run the wires through the firewall, splices, some. Sh I thought that was shrink too, but no, it looks like it's a little extra electrical wire. Um, looks like just some extra little things you need. I might, I say might, I think I am gonna buy different plugs than these for hooking everything up. I wanna try and find the plugs that are actually native to the old Fords or something very similar. That way if I've gotta change a part or buy a part, it's gonna plug right in and I don't have to go through all the hassle of you know, soldering on a new plug and so on. Um, but here we go. There's all the wiring. <clears throat> we'll start with the fuse box. The back of the fuse box here's the front of the fuse box flashers for uh turn signals and i'm assuming the emergency lights or hazard lights whatever you want to call them here's the fuses one reason i went with this is it uses the the uh full size spade uh fuses some of the other wiring harnesses use the little tiny mini ones and those aren't always easy to find. I walked into, I needed a fuse for my truck and walked into CVS and they had a package of them where CVS doesn't carry, you know, the little mini ones, which it's not the end of the world if you can't find them immediately, but it could be if you're stranded. Um, these are cool. So the wires have every few inches, it'll tell you what this wire goes to. Like this orange one right here says third brake light. So that would go to your third brake light, each one of them. Uh, electric fuel pump power, there's speaker wire in here, and then there's also, I think there should be, there's an overall tag. So this whole bundle says tail group on it, which means it goes to the back of the car, to the tail. So there's a tail group. We've got power doors. I don't have power doors or power locks, but I wanted all the extras and the options just in case in the future we want to add power locks, power windows, or whatever or we can use them for something else. Headlight group, column group, which would be like the turn signals and stuff like that on the steering column. Instrument group, your gauges and things on the dashboard. Accessory group, radio group. There's some speaker wire in here, which is interesting. I didn't, uh, I'm assuming that's speaker wire. It looks like speaker wire, which is kind of cool that they would bundle that in with this. Uh, brake switch group. Headlight group, that'll go to the front of the car. And then last but not least, 
the motor group. So I'm assuming, let's see, just out of curiosity, what comes on the motor group. Uh, battery, lug, fan relay, if we're running an electric fan, I think we will. Tachometer wire, which I would have thought that would have gone with the instruments, but. All right, that's kind of it. They gave me a sticker, and last but certainly not least, the invoice, so I can tell you how much this wiring harness cost. The wiring harness itself, 20 circuit Ford wiring harness, $400. Um, let's see. just looking here to see what else the grand total was oh I paid a little extra for because my car's got four headlights so that cost a little extra for a couple of extra plugs for the headlights um, and then this I believe it doesn't itemize this it just says the extras were uh, $60 so I think gosh I want to say the split loom I shouldn't say I'm but gonna say the split loom was probably around 45 50 dollars and then the extra plugs I think were 10 15 somewhere around there um, shipping was 30 dollars 30 dollars so that's it there's the unboxing um, next will be to start installing this in the car um, I'm not sure at what point we are in the project. I mean, I know what point we're in the project now, but as far as these videos coming out, because we're going to do a lot of the videos before we start posting them. So by the time this gets posted, hopefully we're already driving the car and having some excitement with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and that's it, because I'm sure I've mentioned in all my other videos that this car is sort of a surprise for when Ryder comes home this summer. He has no idea we've got it. Today is May... The actual date is May or the 29th, I think May 29th, 2021. So we're hoping to have this car drivable in the next month, I think by July. That's a lot of work. All right, thanks for hanging out with me and unboxing this wiring uh, harness for our 1959 Ford Ranch Wagon by Quick Wire. And until next time, guys, be excellent to each other. You know, sir, it's cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, it's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.